Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are back with another da -da. Da -da. As you can hear, we have a lot of people. These are not just empty prop chairs. There's gonna be two people sitting next to me and I don't know which yet because we're doing a debate. Welcome to the Sue family debate. While we eat college food, we've got all of our favorite college staples, like what you ate at 3 a.m. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Ernest. Listen, every single person in my life that I have talked to that has dealt with student loans, they always have the same complaint. And it's that the whole process just seems overly complicated for no reason at all. And that's why I wanna tell you about Ernest today. I really love what they're doing. Ernest is passionate about making a difference in people's lives. And Ernest's student loans are created with simplicity in mind because that is the last thing you want to stress out about. If you guys have never heard of Ernest, they are a private student loan company that's on a mission to help students. Their loans are super simple. You know exactly what you're signing and you can talk to a real person if you have any questions. I just love that with Ernest, there's no surprises. You can check if Ernest is the right fit for you in just a few minutes before even applying without making any commitments and everybody's on a different path. Everybody's education journey is a little bit different. So with with Ernest, you can customize a lot. You can pick your payment, your rate, your term, and if you're like, whoa, okay, I freaking love that, but I still wanna be able to talk to someone to like go through all the steps with them, you can even call someone for help. I feel like Ernest is one of those companies that really is trying to make higher education accessible and affordable for everyone. You can get a nine month grace period, which is three months longer than most private student loan companies, and you can even get covered for 100% of your college expenses like books, laptops, meals, rent, and there are no late fees. I just love the simplicity with Ernest. You can even invite a co-signer with the tap of a button. You just share a link, no more complicated forms back and forth. And Ernest has a 4.5 star rating on Trustpilot. So you can check out their reviews, see how happy their current clients are. Go get yourself a free rate check at ernest.com slash Stephanie Sue. That's ernest.com slash Stephanie Sue to get a free rate check. And thank you Ernest for sponsoring that portion of my video. Now back to my regular content. Okay, so this is how we're doing the debate. We have so many people, I don't even know how to introduce them, okay? We've got my sister over here, we've got her husband Andrew, me, Dan Dan, Tiffany, and her boyfriend Paul, and my fiance behind the camera. Wow. So I think that each round, we're gonna do a different team. So maybe we'll do like girls versus guys, and then we'll do oldest versus youngest, yeah. and we're not gonna have a judge this time, because I realize that whoever becomes the judge just gets shat on in the comments, so you guys are gonna be the judge and you guys can fight it out to the death. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. not my problem anymore. <laughs> okay, so I think the first one, well, let's do girls versus guys, yeah? I'm just gonna say the first question and it's gonna be heated, especially because it's girls versus guys. But the question is, is it better for your significant other to cheat on you physically or emotionally? Should we think about it and eat? Because it's already yes. feeling tense. Oh. I'm gonna grab a pizza. You guys don't want a pizza? Here, grab a, let me, oh. and then I'll get one to Paul. Right. I'll grab a quesadilla. Wait, how do you cheat physically? How do you huh? cheat physically or mentally? Because if you cheat physically, me? isn't that meant emotionally no. too? Mm -mm. No. Like you just met her at a bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't even know her name. Does everybody have a feeling that they're already going with? Then, then, what do you think? Yeah. Physically. It's worse. This no, no, actually, emotionally it's worse. Because physically, you won't really care. I, I, feel, I, I feel like, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, first. paper, scissors, Did shoot. shoot. Oh, ah! Stephanie! <laughs> Where do you guys want to go? I'm, I'm thinking emotional. Right? Yeah. Emotional is worse. Yeah, yeah, of course. Then physical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> but is that how you guys really feel? Yes. <laughs> really? I mean, I don't know. I hate I this question because they're both bad, but but I, yeah, I think emotional. Emotional. Is worse. How far are we talking about emotional? Like emotional, like you're like texting okay, yeah. every day or feelings. Yes, texting every day, like saying things like "Good morning" when you wake up. You're treating them like a girlfriend, yeah, okay. but just emotionally. Constantly tell them about your day. She's constantly telling you about hers. You know, stuff like that. About like I love you, something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's worse than yeah. that. Yeah, like I love you. Like one day I want to be with you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go with that. I feel like that's the right answer. So let's go. Fork. With that. Okay. And since we, since I won, you guys go first. 
Take the reins, Stephanie. <laughs> All right, girls, speak up. Here's how I feel about emotional cheating. I think it can happen, especially as you get older into your marriage, like maybe in your 50s or something. Right. Maybe you just feel like you need to see what else is out there, or maybe you have kids and your partner is not supporting you and you feel like there's a lack. Right. So you find it somewhere else. That, maybe you can fix it. Maybe you can go to therapy together, talk it out, and talk about what was missing, why you guys weren't connecting. Physical, though, Seems like you just got a horn dog problem. <laughs> that I don't even know how to fix. Okay, all right. <laughs> the reception I'm getting is like, everybody is like, nope. Physical? Yeah. It's like like one night, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's kind of like sad, but it's like short term, you let it go, mm, you know? That's good. And some people like, they have that mindset of like, oh, we're just gonna have fun. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Basically what he's saying is, I'm gonna put it into simple words. Thank you. Physical? It's like an hour or two. Emotional? Yeah. It's forever. Wait, no, no, no. Then you could argue that it's worse that way. Because you're willing to risk how many years of our relationship for an hour with someone? Versus emotional, it's like you were genuinely lacking something so much in your heart. I like don't know if what you <laughs> I don't know what you said. No, think about it. If you sat there and you told me, babe, like this happened in my life, this happened, and you were feeling like this, and like this is where the miscommunication happened, maybe I could understand. But if you were like, hey, I didn't even know her name, I just thought she was hot. You just ruined our whole relationship That's because worse, you just met a huh? hot girl. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, are you guys confused? Wait, I'm confused. I'm arguing <laughs> the wrong point. You are arguing the right point. Yeah, I'm arguing the right point. Yeah. Physical is worse. My point yeah. is that if you're willing to risk one, like our whole relationship over an hour with a girl that you don't even care about, then that's worse. I think I would be able to forgive physical more so than emotional. I, I don't know, that's just, you know, my opinion. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> argument. Yeah, you have to like put logic behind it. Well, yeah. <laughs> you gotta prove the yeah. other side's worse. You just gotta prove which side's worse? <laughs> emotional. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta prove emotional side is worse. Alright, this is what I think. Physical, it's just like, it doesn't take much, right? Like mentally. I oh, I guess it that. does. But if they both like each other, like so you, you really like the girl that you're cheating. No, I'm just saying, like in that yeah. scenario, uh -huh. if you both like each other, like mentally, like you're having fun. Oh, I, I got one. That moment. I got one. In a relationship, to have a good, successful, long-term relationship, mental versus physical. Mental is much more important. So mentally cheating is worse than physically cheating. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. How, how can you say mental is worse than physical? Because you need to mentally be more in sync. I think in sync to have a long term instead of physical attraction versus mentally more attracted. Physical attraction will eventually some will fade away. Wouldn't you agree with that? No. Otherwise, you will always attract to the youngest twenty. -year -old. I thought you always thought I was hot for the past eight years, every single day, and it only gets hotter. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no? Is that? Do, do, are, yeah. I do do everyone agree with that? A hundred percent. No. <laughs> Physical is natural. Like people are animals, right? Like, Whoa! Whoa! You say men are animals, guys. Wow! Yeah. I'm saying like it's a natural behavior, and you know animals when they get to springs, they just get animals, right? Mm -hmm. He's saying we're dogs. <laughs> dogs in <laughs> heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just... Mentally, you are also like as a human being, oh. you're more inclined yeah. to need somebody and feel lonely mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. physically. I feel like that is is harder, is easier to control yeah. than like feeling lonely oh. alone. Yes, that's what I. Yes, you just put it in amazing oh, well, words. The, the barrier don't. of entry for emotional cheating is lower uh -huh. because you are lonely and you're going through things. Imagine feeling so lonely and you feel like you can't talk to your partner. Maybe you emotionally cheat. But the barrier to physical cheating is just keep it in your pants, bro. Just based on the word saying cheating, so physical cheating is you actually already cheat. Mm -hmm. And mentally cheating is not yet cheat. So I feel like physical mm. cheating, you already <laughs> cheated. Mm. So you can't yeah. make it forgiveness on how can, physical cheating. How can you not like mentally, why, why would it not but be? But you already had a physical contact. Mm. Yeah, but like. So she's saying like the D is done. So you're you have cheated. But mentally mm -hmm. you can't it's hard for someone yeah, to argue. Like, hey, am I cheating by just talking to this girl yeah, for a weekend? A is it cheating? There's <sighs> if there's an emotional attachment from between two people, people outside of those two people will know. But what if it's like your therapist? And also like 
Wait, whose side are you on? He got the win. No, 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 no. He got the win. No, 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 no. We're that good. No, I'm just trying to like clear our strategy. <laughs> also, like I feel like most of the time, if they do physical cheating, I feel like they must have a little somehow feeling for this girl. Mm. That's, That's not true. That's not true. Well, not not, not at all. <laughs> no, most of girls. Who girls is like? I don't even girls think that. Don't, no. What do you do physical cheat with a random like you, the girl you don't like? Like yeah. you will still do it. <laughs> I'm so if I go to the club, I'm wasted. I would like. Like whatever you know? girl you take it. Maybe like. Even you. Hate <laughs> <her>. <laughs> you're really, you're really digging your own grave right now. <laughs> I'm Sorry. not saying me, my person. I'm Even saying like someone is like, under influence. Hey, he's a true warrior. He will die. <laughs> he will die on this debate. He said, "I will win this debate no he matter said, what it takes." He said, "The boys, I got you. The boys." <laughs> I think emotional cheating. Is maybe you're thirsty, you're not gonna die, but there's a glass of water. Mm -hmm. You're tempted because you need water to survive, but you're not getting the water that you need. You can maybe last a little bit longer, but like it's right there. I think physical cheating is like eating a piece of cake. Like you don't need that cake, you just want to. You don't need it, it in your life. Cake. Like you need emotional connections in life to no, be a you, stable human. I think if someone physically cheated, they can stop physically cheating. No. No, you can't. No. Let's say you, that no. person is. You, you'd stay with that person 24-7. They will not have the opportunity no. to no. cheat. What I'm trying to say is physically cheating, you can literally be with that person 24-7 to prevent them from cheating again. But who would want no. that? I mean, physically it's possible, right? No. But you can't control someone's mind. Exactly. You don't someone want what they're thinking, thinking about someone. They can be thinking about someone else, even though when they're with you. Right. Okay, but that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's why. Point. Okay, this is getting so heated, and also we have like three couples here, and then then. <laughs> so we're all like, I I see them eyeing each other, I see them eyeing each other, I'm eyeing him. I'm like, oh yeah, you think that one's worse? You think so? Do it then. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we're each gonna go around and say one point. The reason that we stand by our side, even if we don't emotionally think that's the right answer. Okay, okay. hit it, Dan. Alright, there's some boys out there that just, you know, one night stand, and then they never see them again. But Emotionally, if you keep thinking about them in their mind, mm -hmm. like you, first of all, you don't, you don't know if they're cheating, and they can be like, they don't really like you, you know? And it's like, it could be like emotionally so much damage to yourself, <laughs> you know? I mean, I agree with what you're saying, like, you know, when, you, when you're when you with your girl or guy, you're thinking about somebody else, right? And then like, you're not even paying attention to your significant other, and your mind's just wandering because you're thinking about somebody else, that's gonna be much more damaging than, you know, a quick little fling. Imagine uh, two people just like, thinking about the beginning of your relationship. You can have a uh, physical before you guys become boyfriend and girlfriend. It's harder to become like a relationship if you just have physical. You need that mental s stuff. I come in. Yeah, they can be physical all day, but it takes a long time to build the mental, which means mental cheating is worse. It's a very That's long real point. Deep. Okay, honey, hit it. Physically cheating only takes one to two hours. Mentally cheating could take months or even years. And second point, a successful relationship is built on mental connections. So if you're mentally cheating, then that's a bigger damage to your long-term relationship. Wow. You can clap in there. Come on, guys. Let's go. I will start with my point. The reason for mentally cheating seems a little bit more, tiny bit more justifiable than physically cheating. People need human connections, they need emotional connections. You don't need to sleep with Becky. I'm just saying. Okay, I was thinking about the point of like marriage, physical cheating. And just the vision also, of it. You should have said that. Vision the vision is a good point. Yeah. So why is it that like people that are in long relationships, right? When they get a free pass, Who it's a always pass? a physical thing. No, I'm saying that peop some people are like, hey, I'll give you a free pass to if you ever run into a chance to, you know, sleep with some celebrity or whatever. Yeah, because you get a you get a free pass, right? Nobody Ever will be like, yeah, why you don't get you? a mental free yeah, pass. Yeah, you, you you can go out and date her and, and get to know her, and you know, nobody nobody gives you that kind of free because pass. Because nobody here, <laughs> regardless of who we meet, will ever have a shot at sleeping with Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Not me, not you, not nobody. Damn, yeah. And let alone, can you not have a chance of sleeping with her? 
She's not gonna date any of us. I'm gonna be honest. She's not gonna date any of us. She's not gonna be like, I love you, babe. Good morning. So what you're saying is he can get a free pass then? No. Huh? No. Because you, you're, 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 you're doubting. Say, oh, it's just yeah. you just say that because you know it's yeah. never gonna happen. It's like, it's like me saying it's like yeah. It's like me saying when I die you can get remarried. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna hold on to dear life. You're never getting remarried. But I'm just saying it. You know, I'm just like saying it. I think that with physical cheating. Like Tiffany said, it's the trust issue. Like, it, you can never get that back. Every time you're like, oh, we're, if this guy went to work, you're like, is he at work? It's gonna bring back so much problems for you. Yeah, the trust is broken. All right, <coughs> we all made the point. Oh yeah, okay, we made the point. Listen, as the representative of the girls, did we want to be here? No, you saw that yourself, okay? Please go easy on us in the comments and decide, what do you think? Which one is worse? And with that, we get into the next question. Okay, this is the next question. The question is, would you rather have a high paying job that you hate or a low paying job that you're really passionate about? And this one we're splitting up into the youngest and the oldest. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just split it here? You three and then us four. Um, but I feel like this question. <laughs> she said that's young, not very uh, nice. <laughs> So, yeah, the youngest. Like no, no, no. We did, last bald. time we talked about um, if, you're if your job is making you bald. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, but you can't. Yeah, Andrew, why are you silent? He's been quiet. I'm still dumbfounded by this question. <laughs> Okay. He's still traumatized. So, so it's uh, He's so, traumatized. so high paying job that you hate versus low paying yeah. job that you love. You're not balding, okay. no health concerns. Okay, ready, Opa? We gotta rock, paper, scissors right. to see who goes first. Rock, Come paper, on, scissors, you. shoot. No. Yes! Oh. Oh my God. What are we going for? High paying. My sister said, high paying job? Come uh, on. No, no, because uh, older people will choose high paying job, Gen Z's will choose things they love. <laughs> <laughs> so we go with the, the low. I don't know. Which I, I, feel, I feel like <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, okay, you guys are giving high paying job vibes over here. Yeah. Right, We're giving passion it. jobs over here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, we want this. <laughs> we want. Okay, you guys start first. You got okay. four people. Okay. Okay, so if you're passionate, you're, right. you're you can't use the same like argument I gave last time. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, yeah, he's no, gonna say the same, same argument. Like, eventually, eventually you're paying you're gonna make I mean, more. It's true though. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you're passionate about something, yeah. Oh shit, my voice cracked. <laughs> but um, okay. you'll work okay. hard mm -hmm. and you'll like doing what you do, and eventually. Uh -huh. You're gonna IPO. Eventually. <laughs> well, you're gonna IPO. You'll exactly. IPO. Hey, exactly. I saw a comment last time, somebody said, hey, they work in a zoo because they're passionate about the animals. And okay. they say, no matter how passionate they get, they won't be able to make more than 50k a year because you work but in a zoo. But they're happy. They're yes. happy, but they're. Wait. Not gonna make more money like you argue. Okay, my sister has a counter argument. <laughs> okay, so I feel like you can have that high paying job, and if you're so passionate about something, you can always do the low paying job on the side. I used to volunteer at the zoo. Ooh. So if I oh, yeah, really she did. Yeah. Volunteer at the yeah. zoo. Yeah, I do Atlanta. Yeah, she used, I used to, to go there once a week. And no we way. Go back and like help with See the See there, there? But I'm just saying, reality, as you get older, you right. need to support your family, you need the money. But if you're really passionate about something, you will find the time to, you know, do whatever you're so passionate about on the side. Yeah. And then what, if that does grow, then you can quit your high paying job. I just want to make one more point That's real quick. One, just, just inspired by Andrew's face. Yeah. <laughs> just look at his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah. He's a... He's like literally thinking about Sophie and Mia right now. <laughs> Imagining if he has to work a low paying job that he loves and his kids will have to suffer. Yeah. Amen. Good, good point. If you get a high paid job, but you're miserable. Every day you wake up at nine o'clock or even seven o'clock for your job. Mm -hmm. You're just thinking about your day. Oh my God, I have to do this every day. My <laughs> boss is being an my yes. employees. Mm -hmm. But you getting paid. <laughs> you know what would be worse than that? Not being able to put money in the mailbox? You are talking about mentally and you are getting so stressed. And it's not mm -hmm. for just a day. 
for weeks, for months, for years. And just like, that's the sacrifice. That's the life. Hey, they, they're making good yeah, points, not gonna lie. It'll be worse <laughs> if you can't pay your bills. If you make a lot, you have that living style. If you make at your low pay job, you have another like living style. Like it's just two lives. You don't have to have that fancy car. You don't have to have that big house. There's a lot of financial stress. Yeah. That and, is true too. Yeah, and also imagine if your child comes and they're like, all my friends have this. And like, yeah, I get oh, that you That's too. the worst. Imagine yeah. someone knocking on the door. Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> oh yeah. And you tell them, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. But I don't have time. Your child is like, oh my gosh, please, I really want it so bad. But you don't have the money. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't be on this. Baby. <laughs> 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 Is it too late to join? Yes. Money is what makes the world go round. But it's not the lasting impact. Yes. You know, like once you die, your money, okay, you're gonna give it to your kid and they're gonna spend it on a new car and a house. Mm -hmm. But if you have a low paying job that you absolutely love and you feel like you're making a difference in the world, that is something that's gonna last forever. And it's not even just gonna impact you and your family. Like you're, and like imagine telling that to your kid. I think maybe when they're young, they're gonna be upset, but as they grow older, they're gonna be like, wow, my mom like really was. She did what she loved and she was helping people. I think, I think my kids would be like, damn, my parents work so hard at a job that they hate, <laughs> but they're providing for a better life for me. That's way more admirable than <laughs> my parents did what they love, so <laughs> yeah. we're poor. Huh. Okay, if we're talking about family and kids, right? Mm -hmm. If you're working at a hyper job that you hate, like you're emotional, you're gonna be miserable. You're gonna carry that emotion into your house and you're gonna influence your kids. You're emotional, you're gonna affect your uh, surroundings. Since you're talking about relationship, family, yeah. marriage, the number one reason that couple get divorced oh. is money. It's money. Let's not talk about like I'm not gonna talk right, about family right now. Let's talk about young people. Like after they graduate and stuff, I feel like passion is what young people need. Also, like I feel young people needs to be like creative, passion to create more stuff. Then it has a point. For, guys. Okay, it's so like startup businesses, right? <laughs> Start up, for okay. it to be successful, you know, you do it for money too, but you gotta be passionate on what you're doing in startup startup business or something. Yeah, a lot of successful people they start with <laughs> Like, they, they don't start with rich, they start with their passion. Oh, but what would you tell your kid? Would you say, hey, go work a miserable job that you hate? Yeah. Or would you raise your kid saying, be happy? I would tell my kid okay. to work a high paying job. <laughs> <laughs> Think of little Sophie, I'm like trying to cater to their parental. Like, like they don't need to like, What if she's like, mom, dad, I really want to be a volunteer and they pay nothing, but like, I'm so passionate or, this job is paying me a lot, but I, I hate it. But what if she wants to take piano lessons and swimming lessons, but you can't afford those? Who said it? Wait, wait, wait. Who said it? Exercise. Exercise. But you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. He's a flip flopper. All right, is that all the points we have? I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think also that a high-paying job is necessarily like will bleed into your personal life. I mean, a miserable <laughs> job. Jobs you can leave it at work and come home and it's work because in your mind like mm -hmm. not everyone is like oh dwelling on everything that happens mm -hmm. at work mm -hmm. all right tiffany anything else last point okay last point um also work is majority of our life oh, oh. and also i don't think money is also represent my whole life money can yeah. just take my life away like i suppose control the money how much i earn how much i do it's not like Money drag me, tell me what to do. With that, with guys, that, please <laughs> leave it in the comments. Leave your vote below. <laughs> Let us know. I mean, it's it's not, not about what you guys yeah. believe, it's about who made a better <laughs> argument. Okay, the next question, we're just gonna jump right into it. Question number three is staying up with you versus asking you to go to bed early. Which one loves you more? Oh, we'll do the siblings versus the non-siblings. Sorry, y'all. Paul, Tendon, and Andrew, and then me, my <laughs> sister, Tiffany, and my fiance. All right, good game. Okay. <laughs> That's, they're gonna lose so bad. Yeah. No, I, no, what? You You're underestimating. Wait, why don't we let them choose? Then, okay, you, you guys choose okay. which side. Oh, say the question one so more time. So, what is the better significant other? The one that like, stays one up loves... late with you, or the one that makes you go to sleep? Which one loves you more? Okay, so you guys go with the sleeping yeah. early. 
Then hit it. Start it. Start the vibes. So, um, I think in a relationship at the beginning, you probably want to stay up late with your partner. You stay up all night texting each other, like talking, but that just at the very beginning. You cannot do that for a long, long time for a healthy, long-term relationship. Someone has to make that move. Worry about your house, worry about getting early in the morning and stuff like to get your life together in the future. Okay, siblings, hit it. Me? You want me to hit it? <laughs> I don't know, I sleep at like 8.30 these days, y'all. <laughs> oh, Tiffany has one, Tiffany has one. He's talking about health. Yeah. Yes. But I'm talking about emotion. Mm. Mm. I feel Which like is health. my emotion is my best support. Yes. If you don't support me on emotion, I can't even fall asleep. Why are you tell me to sleep? I can't. Mm. I need to fix my mm. emotion first and mm. then go to sleep. Okay, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Paul was better, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wants to make the second point? I, I, I just agree with him, like... Bad. Bad. <laughs> new point, new point. Life is always more fun the later you stay up. What? You're on the wrong side. Whoa, you're on the wrong side. He's trying to go to sleep early for now. Oh, we're trying to go to sleep yeah. early. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to go to sleep at 8. <laughs> okay, I gotta re-evaluate re my, <laughs> my whole... Okay, I think if okay. you sleep early, yeah. you have that morning time. Maybe you can go for a walk together, you know, like exercise together. Do other things in the morning together. Routine, you know? What do you mean? <laughs> Keeping, okay, fine, yeah, it was right, pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like you need a routine. You need a routine in your life. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you need a routine in your life. <laughs> So, you've done. No, so like, I guess if you if you just stay up, you know, all night, every day, it, and, and live spontaneous and, and whatever, then like he said, it's, it's very unhealthy. But if you go to sleep early and, and you kind of uh, train each other in a relationship to do that, then the day's longer and there's more to enjoy in life. Mm. Just so much conviction in his voice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when you ask someone to go to bed, sleep early, is the same thing as when a girl is on the on their period and the boyfriend say just drink some hot water. Yes, it's like oh, physical, it is so uh, empty. It's so easy uh -huh. for you to say just go to bed, go to bed yes. early. It takes zero effort uh -huh. to do that. It's hot compared to exactly physical, doing it versus different. staying up with another partner. It takes so much more effort. Yeah, Obviously, that person who's willing to stay up is way more in love to the partner. <laughs> 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 I see that if you wouldn't you stay up late with your partner, you, it's like having fun. Two people having fun uh, in the relationship. That means you're in love, right? Yes. That's the question. That's just the short term. You're just having fun together. You can stay up late or do all you want. It's just having fun. But do you able to build the long term? I agree. But the question is who loves the partner more? In my opinion, if you want the person to go to bed early for their health reasons, for long-term reasons, you could do so much more than just ask the person to go to sleep early. You could give them a massage. You could sing them a song. You could set them up a, a bubble bath. That's so much more effort than telling someone to go to bed early. Would you agree then, then? Not today. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. I, I agree because if you think about it, if, when you're trying so hard to stay up, you're like nodding off. It's torturous. Yeah, that's so true. It's like, you know, when you're on the way home and the guy that stays up, even though they're so sleepy, waiting for that call to say, I just got home safely. That's love. Is that love, Dana? I, I, I thought about What if that was at like 6 o'clock? <laughs> 6 o'clock? Yeah. Who wants to sleep at 6 o'clock? No, 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 no. I'm saying, when, you know, you, you went oh. home at 6 o'clock. <laughs> That's not really staying up late. No, but th that's the yeah. thing. It's staying up late. Yeah. Make it six o'clock. Yeah. Like they're staying up late. <laughs> five o'clock then. In the morning. Hey, do you guys need help? I, I thought about one yeah. point. Tiffany wants to help you guys. Who loves you more, right? Yeah, who loves you more? Think about it. Our parents, mm -hmm. since we were young, they tell you, go to sleep early. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't, is, isn't parents always love you? Mm -hmm. The, can I the one love you the most? They tell their kids to go to sleep so they can have some peace. Not because they love their kids so much. They do. They do. Don't get them wrong. But like they need some peace. It's like okay. You're out here. It's like go to sleep early. Don't stay up so late and stuff. They just want alone time. Right? Yeah, I think they uh, just want to. Not, not even alone time. Just like some 
you know, Piece you need yeah, yeah, yeah. time to recharge yeah. to to watch yeah. them <laughs> at oh six o'clock in the morning. That is but I mean, oh, I, yes, it is also healthy for the yeah. child. But I mean, it's like a half half. <laughs> yeah, and also, who says we 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 stay up more so to recharge? Who yeah. who says they're having fun though? I could be studying. Mm. I could be. I have insomnia. I could be yeah. anxious. Who says I'm having a blast? Yeah. Nobody's really having a blast every night at three a.m. Yeah. Yeah. So if you stay up with me through the tough times, that's love. Uh-huh. Yeah. Versus, but just go to sleep. Yeah, just go to sleep. Mm. Yeah, it's like I can't. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Early birds so. get the worms. <laughs> <laughs> that's his argument. <laughs> oh, Video <on>. over. <laughs> See y'all next time. But like, what do you think? Leave it in the comments because I feel like this one is like a really nuanced one. So the last question is, let's say you were hitting on someone, you were trying to date someone and they rejected you time after time, like multiple times. No, 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 I don't want to date you. And then all of a sudden they were like, hey, do you want to be my boyfriend? Do you want to be my girlfriend? Would you say yes or no? Out of nowhere. You don't know why, you don't know what happened. So mm-hmm. right now we're gonna split the teams into China versus Korea. <laughs> so we got the Koreans, we got the Chinese. National teams. Yes. Let's go. National teams. Please win. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Rock, Rock, paper, paper, scissors, scissors. shoot. shoot. Yes. 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 I lost every yes. single yes. round. Oh. Oh. Which one, which one? Yeah. We'll let you choose. Okay. Oh, no, I right? say no, yeah. No, yeah, no, no, right? Okay, let's start then. You missed your opportunity. Yeah. yeah. So you're holding grudge. No, it's not yeah. that I'm holding mm-hmm. a grudge. It's like, you don't want to be second choice. You're going to go into the relationship thinking you're second choice? You don't no. want that. No, it's not even that. It's like, if, you, if, you, if they said no, right? There must be something that you, they didn't like. And then, all of a sudden, they like, whether you have money or mm-hmm. you got better looking or something or physics, <laughs> I don't know. Like, They're after or something. Yeah, right? like, I don't yeah. want that. That's not real love, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not That's real true. love. That's true. All right, so, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> he went, hold up. Well, we spend a lot of effort on chasing after this person. Why not? What's the reason saying, like, why not? Yeah, why not, Dan Dan? That person like, I is love the this, one. I love no? this person for so long, and this person finally agrees that it might be... Yeah. Like, All your yeah. effort is paying yeah. off. And they finally, they were moved. Like, but, yes, but, but you right said she point. came to him yeah. Yeah. and wanted to get with him. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. It's different. That's it's different. like, have you guys had like a really annoying salesperson that just comes to your door every single day and you think oh my god let me just oh let me just buy this bye goodbye no, no. that's the vibe what are you that's, saying? that's the vibe that's not a relationship i think relationship first you don't know each other much and then the guy is coming after you pause argument is yeah. after you chase this person for so long and that person one day finally realized all the things you've done or they finally has some feeling back towards you. Okay, so I your have hard a work pays off. Did you know that Tiffany was attractive and you liked her when you met her? No. No, maybe you didn't say like I like you, I think we're gonna get in a relationship, but you thought she was attractive. You were like, maybe I'll go on a date with her one day. Like if she asked, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I'm saying I think people know usually if they like someone from the get-go. Like I typically have an idea, like, oh, if this person asked me on a date, I would say yes. Or I would say no. And I don't think anything's gonna change that unless it's like something that's not just pure love, maybe. Maybe they're Jeff Bezos. So you're out. saying their their motive isn't clear. Yeah, it's unclear because typically you kind of know if you would want to go on a date with someone, not marry them, okay. but like on a date. Mm-hmm. But am I saying is yeah. like whatever their motive is, yeah. it doesn't hurt to, to find out. Let's find out. Let's try it. You already really like this person for so long. Let's just try it. Why not? But by Who this wants to like... Like whenever you're chasing somebody, right? Who who wants to like end up being the one being chased? Like that's just not normal. That's not normal. That's completely normal. No. Yeah. No. What I'm saying is like if if like let's just say a girl's chasing you or, or you're chasing a girl, okay? Uh huh. And then like you lose interest or whatever, and then she starts chasing you. <laughs> uh huh. That's not normal. It doesn't usually it's work not that, that way. It's not normal. I don't think that that's the way you should put it. I think when you're the one chasing. And then it doesn't happen, doesn't happen, doesn't happen. They're like, no, no, we're not right for each other. And then that person ends up chasing you. I feel like human nature, most people are like, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, they, they, no, they, they found out something about him that, yeah, exactly. that they it's, didn't know before. Because I feel like if you, maybe they found out you have money, like or, to be a chaser you know. or to be chased. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if you're that chaser who's just constantly chasing and chasing and chasing, like when that person comes back to you, you're gonna be like, mm, I don't like this. You might yes. be kind of turn. But off let's by say, that. 
Andrew, you're saying like, let's say they chase you、mm-hmm. because they found out that you have money now. Why is that a bad thing? You worked so hard to be successful. Now the person that you used to like. No, I think now finally they. Wrong, wrong, wrong take. That's so bad. That's not. That's so bad. That's, that's, so bad. that's, that's like a gold digger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't have to be money. Let's say physique. You worked out. You build up your physical appearance. It's a glow up story. But no, you yeah, should. You should. Nature, you should do、yeah. that for yourself. And and now that she wants you, like you're you're. Yeah. You're, you're beyond her now. Yeah, you above that level. Yeah, you yeah. are above her. You're、now. upgraded,、yeah. bro. Yeah. You're upgraded.、Yeah. I don't think it's wrong though. Like、That's, it's like you. It's are, not it's wrong. wrong. It's just not a good feeling because human nature. Your first thought is they probably had other people lined up. That was a no. That was a no. That was a no. So all of these didn't work out. Why would you want to be the last resort? No, let's say or, I was. Or just a, one in the line. I was a two. Let's say I was a two. Yeah. And a girl, I. Was chasing was a ten. Yeah, like me. And, and then、yeah. I build up my physical. <laughs> let's say I start working out, start growing my self confidence. Yeah. Right. I grew into a ten.、Uh-huh. Now she's like, oh, I like you too. And you're like, okay, my hard work pays off because now I grew myself into a ten.、Yeah, Finally, she. Yeah. When you're gonna date a two, when you're a ten. Yeah. No, no I'm dating. She's a ten. No, but, but let's be real. Are you gonna really want a ten? You're gonna want a twelve. Yeah, no,、exactly. she's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Like you, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because when you start chasing someone,、yeah. you kind of think you have some kind of chance. Yeah, if well, you're constantly、no. going after them. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you guys are gonna get played. Y'all are gonna get played.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or、Because、I took the chance you know, and find my love. A lot of celebrity or people who like came from nothing and built something for themselves. You know, a lot of those people.、Yes. Stay with the people、yep. that、yes. they were with when they were before they were that person. Yeah. So because it's just human nature. You don't want someone to want you because you've changed or you become this better、mm-hmm. person. You want someone to love you for who you were before all of that. Well, Jeff Bezos divorced. Bill Gates divorced. So his point is, all these people with their original partner all end up divorcing. You should just pick whoever you well, like. Well, you can't <laughs> speak for all. Right, 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 Tiffany, I, I think you need to be on our side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think she's vibing it out over there with these divorce talks. Okay, y'all. It's relationship. I think you should try it. It's nothing like. She said you should try like it. It's like everything, like、right, work,、Andrew? everything, life is a choice. You just. Choose.、So、Even though、it. you fail it, I would have、fine. doubt. Like a lot of people fail、huh? in their、try、relationship. You don't want to start a relationship with doubt. 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 Yeah. yeah. I would like, have is doubt. Is this person you know? liking me because this or that? I, I will ask、What's、that person. Hey, hey, why do you like me now? Yeah, but they can easily lie to you. Say, they They're were, gonna lie to you. Yeah. They are gonna lie. Or they tell the truth. Action shows. And you guys are gonna get played because you have mentioned multiple times you really like this person. Like you're just setting up for a recipe for disaster. You guys are starting on the lower hand right now. Okay, so you're not even going into as equals. People really love each other. They start with a good relationship. There might be a lot failed relationship at the end. Why not a try? I still feel like try is something. That's true. It might work out. It might not work out. But also some good relationship they might. Well, what if you get sucked into this? You know, like because. Some people are suckers, you know. You get sucked into this relationship, and like you can't break it off, or you just don't have that in you, and now you're stuck in this relationship、Same、that you never should have started to begin with. We can get into semantics. We can get into semantics. Maybe you asked her out over and over again. She said no, and now suddenly she wants to ask you out. Yeah. No. no. Say no. But she can ask four more times, and maybe your answer will change. It's not like you never have to talk to this person. You just say no. So your result is like see how serious they are, and you will yeah, get back yeah, with yeah. them. But I think initially it's a no. It's a no because why? Yeah, you. Right. You don't、so. want to start a relationship like, questioning their motives. And already, and, listen, as a girl, if you ask me out five times, and I guess out of boredom, I was like, hey, you want to go out? And then I said no all those times, and finally I went out with you. I don't know if I would get into the relationship thinking, wow, this is like someone that I. No, but I really, will look. I, I will, think I just be like whatever. No, but I will go out with this partner. Yeah. And then through. The first few dates, I would try to find out what. Or you、is. can just say no and then see、okay. if she、uh, keeps coming back. Why would I say no?、Back? Because I like this person yeah, for so long. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, let me just go on a date. But you want to see how serious they are. Just, right. Let's、yeah. go on the date and find out what changed. It's、yeah. worked out.、Let's、can I、see. just say I think we're a prideful bunch. It's not pride. It's like. And also, just think about that way. You always say no. Like, if example, like Pa is chasing me like for a million times, and I have said no, 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 and then I finally say yes, and he's like, no. How do you feel? I was like, 
What? You would feel like I want some more. Because I wanted to. <laughs> uh, I want to discover more. No, but I would want them more. Huh? Like if he asked me out five times and I said no each time, there's a reason I said no, right? Yeah. But I then suddenly so I'm like, oh, let me date you, and you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, date. when? Then I I'd be like, okay, loser, let's just go whatever you want. That's not like I was. Not loser, but like it, I don't yeah, think I, it would be as. Yeah. It would. It for me at least, it wouldn't be as like, oh my god, like I'm so nervous yeah. to this date. Like oh my god, oh my god, I'm so nervous. But, it would just be like, oh uh, yeah, like it's just this guy. Like, you said no that I met. for like ten times to him, and he and he finally and thinks maybe he's the right one and the right time. You ask him like, would you go out with me? I'm okay. Like. I finally settled and he said no. How do you feel? So I feel like shit. Tiffany, okay, so I, I would want him more. No, okay, let me ask. Tiffany's argument yeah. in this case. Oh, is if the that, girl feels bad or the other person feels is bad. Is that the girl's intention is pure. It's like, and the girl's but intention. But you don't know that. Is, we, yeah. Okay, I'm just making an uh, argument, okay, guys. Yeah. You're making your argument that she's okay. evil. I'm making an argument that this partner <laughs> yeah. is actually touched by you. <laughs> And wanting to date you now, okay. and you say no because you have all these assumptions, so you just lost the opportunity of a lifetime for both of okay. you. If that were the case, <laughs> that were the case, right? If she came to realize that she does want to date, she wouldn't yeah. chase you. She would wait for you to come back a fifth no, or sixth or seventh time. No, because she wants to take action this time. She's saying, yeah. no, "Okay, I let me just she try asked it out." You, would you? Uh, like, would you go out with me? I think she'll wait for him to hit on her again, and then she'll probably. But she, she, I'm saying this girl, a different girl from what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this girl, all of a sudden, wanting to give okay. give you a chance, wanting to try it. So she came back and said this. By you saying no, just shut the opportunity for both of you and to also, have a good, healthy, my, serious relationship. And that girl might think, "What's wrong with you? You being chased? Are you playing with my?" Yeah, and emotions? then now she no, thinks no, there's something wrong not. with you. Yes. You missed but your chance the first five times. Yeah, but like, it's still constantly about what the other person <laughs> thinks. Like, what about what you think? Yeah. Like, well, what I'm saying is, like, it's about, <laughs> oh like, God, let's find cool. out after, let's go on a date. Let's find out what happened, what changed. If it doesn't work, we can break it off there. If, if it does work, then we have a really good thing going on. But why didn't well, you get a chance earlier? Yeah, because I she also... didn't like you. She didn't know if you're okay. serious. The same no, thing but... five times. I yeah. also think that there's so many people out there that you can start off on a good footing with without going through all these doubts of like, wait, why did they suddenly come back? Like, did something okay. happen? What well, happened? I guess our... Just... Yeah. Like second choice. We believe it doesn't hurt to give it a chance to find out if there's possibilities going forward yes. even with all the doubts and the questions you have because this is someone that you really 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 liked that's it okay and we think that you can say no the first time and if they keep coming back that's a different story but you should say no the first time because i think it would be very hard to start a relationship on equal footing so you think you're a second choice but yeah and then i would plan B. and then also i wonder if that person thinks i'm so desperate like you said no 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 and then now you ask me and i'm like yes 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 you know it's like I would want them to like have a moment of like, no. And let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on that one. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.